Yes, a replay at Main Road on Wednesday. And any neutrals in the ground yesterday, as I was, would say that Fulham thoroughly deserved to win yesterday and must remain favourites to do so in that replay. But now let's turn to our two guests today. John Mitchell, who scored that wonderful goal for Fulham, and Bobby Moore, and indeed it was the opinion of the Fulham coach Bill Taylor that Bobby yesterday turned in one of his best performances ever. But John, let's come to you first of all. That goal, with the side playing so well, you must have thought that that was one that was going to put you through to Wembley. Yes, uh, once it went in, I thought that was it, Brian. Oh, yeah, well, we're on a, I couldn't see them scoring. Yeah, you know, I thought that was it. It was a fairy tale, really, for you, having sort of come into the side after those two goals at Norwich. Uh, did you did you feel any tremors of nerves at all during that day? No, actually, I ran out on the field and I thought to myself, oh, God, I'm not nervous. There must be something the matter with me. But you know, it was fabulous, great. We can't really hold the moment up any longer, can we? You want to see that goal again? Yes, yeah. It must be one of the best goals you've scored in your career, certainly the most important goal you've scored in your career. John, oh. tell us now your view of it. Well, Alan Murray knocks the ball here and Alan Stiles does fabulous there. He knocks the ball. Did it bobble a bit here for you? Yeah, well, I, I, I was undecided there and I thought, well, I'm going to take it on and, you know, once it fell, I just whacked it with my left foot and I knew it was in as soon as I hit it. No, no, no chance there. And tell me, what were you doing there? <laughs> well, I didn't know where to run, actually. I was so delighted and the, the fans have been so good to me at Fulham that uh, I thought it was best to go and run towards them. It was the right end to score it with the Fulham fans there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, lovely. But the problem is you've got a bit of an injury, a bit of a groin injury now. Yes, it's not too bad this morning, uh, but I'm a bit sore in a few places, actually. But the groin is a little, little sort of bit naggy, but... Um, I'll be all right. I'll fact, be one, there. Of, one of the conditions of Fulham allowing you to come today was that you could have some treatment while you're with us here. So when you finish that's this right. interview, you've got to go and really have some more treatment. Yes, that's right. Bob, let's turn to you. After uh, that goal had been scored uh, by Fulham, uh, you were telling me last night there was a lost five minutes where you really couldn't pull yourself together. I don't think it was a mere fact of pulling ourselves together, Brian. You know, naturally, when you get one nil in front in a semi final, uh, you know, you, you're natural thing is to be very elated and uh, excited and I think we, we felt that if we could get control of the game, consolidate for just a matter of a few minutes, uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't go the yeah, whole way and win the game. But you couldn't and you didn't. Now why was Funny that? Funny enough, I don't, it's very difficult to say the reason why, but I think they probably created their best two chances during this five minute spell and uh, it was just the way the things were going that they were obviously wanted to come straight back at us. The two chances they got, you know, one that was missed by, I think it was Campbell, and the one that was scored, uh, they weren't really chances created. They yeah. were chances that just came about. You know, they were getting a lot of little breaks at the time. They were getting knock-ons and uh, deflections, and it was a bit unfortunate, really. As we look at the goal that they did score uh, by Joe Gallagher, they, they, I think it went through John Lacey's legs at one point as well. It was just one of those moments, Yeah, it was it? a long ball played into the area. Here we are, Bob. And, uh, you know, I tried to come in front. I think it was a Burns on the edge of the box. I've just got a touch actually to it, and as you see here, it goes right the way through John Lacey's legs. Uh, Alan Snell here at the back with Gallagher, and he does very well really, he rides him round and uh, it falls nicely for him, he just tucks it in the corner. But Agonising that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a pity really, because as I say, you know, it was hardly a created goal, it's just something that, uh, you know, he made for himself, and uh, he took very well really. I think if we'd have held him for a few more minutes, then uh, you know, we could be yeah. uh, home and dry now. John, coming to you again, uh, I was saying that Bill Taylor, your coach, was saying that was one of Bobby's best ever games, and people keep saying that, that you know, what an influence he is on the side. What does he do to young players like yourself and Les Strong and John Fraser and John Lacey in the defence? Uh, I think he just gives us confidence. Uh, he's terrific to all the young lads, and Alan as well. You know, it's, um, we've got a good blend at Fulham. We've got a lot of young players, and with Bobby and uh, Alan, you know, they're inspiring, and... You know, they calm you down. Great. He did one or two things yesterday, Bob, uh, you did, that I think must have put years on your manager again. One or two of these little <laughs> moments when their old ice, ice cool brain was working. Um, really, do you find no pressure on you personally in things like a semi-final when things like this happen to you coming up now? Just what's, what's going on in your mind at these sort of moments? Well, well I think at so moments like this, Brian, you just, uh, you know, think of keeping control of the situation and... Uh, doing the right thing. I think this is what football is all about, uh, doing the right thing at the right time. We play football by passing to one another, keeping possession, and I think if people show composure, show confidence, it uh, obviously spreads throughout the whole team and uh, we all benefit from it. Are you as composed as you look there? Uh, more composed there than what I feel now after <laughs> watching it, I think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as I'm saying, you know, 
I was probably looking back there now, I was probably faced with a couple of alternatives, either just a, a long ball out into touch or knocking it for a corner. And uh, if we can keep possession, keep, give it to Peter Mello, we can start something from now. Yeah. And uh, as I say, it's, I think it's the right thing to do at the right time, otherwise I wouldn't do it. John, I think that the thing that, that Fulham fans must worry about now is you dominated that game yesterday and yet that people will say Birmingham can never play as badly again. Um, well, the thing to look at is that you, only, you can only play as well as obviously opposition lets you and um, you know, we, we play well but we can play better. Everybody says that Birmingham play bad and uh, they can only get better but we, we can get better still. Yeah. You're confident you're going to go through to Wembley? Well I hope so yes, you know, all the lads are bubbling. So. It's almost like a second home for you Bobby Wembley, uh, you know and you've done so much there and you've won so much in the game and I know it would mean a lot to get there again but will it also, does it all occur to you how much pleasure you're going to give to other people on this occasion? Yeah I think without a doubt Brian that um, you know, Fulham is a very warm club and uh, I think it would be a great occasion for everybody at the club and, uh, you know, we've uh, been very well supported the whole way through. I mean, we've had, what, I think it's nearly ten matches now in the Cup. We've got another replay to go mm. to, but they're a very good following. They're very loyal people. It would mean a great deal to them. It would mean a great deal to all of us at Fulham. I'm thinking of people particularly like Alex Stock. Yeah, I think, um, as I'm saying, it would really be just reward for the amount of good service he has given the game and uh, as I say I think the whole club are starting from top right the way through to the bottom uh, to very sincere people and uh, make everybody very very welcome and uh, as I say I think really everybody who knows them would really love it to happen just for the people involved. Yeah. There's a, there's a newspaper story this morning that you might pack up at the end of the season I don't think you're taking that terribly seriously but do you see this as your last chance to get to Wembley? Uh, I hope not. I'd like to go on playing for as long as possible, Brian, and uh, as I say, it's a, it's a great inspiration to know that you're on knocking on the doorstep of Wembley again, and I'd like to be able to do it again next year, and again for a few years after, so, uh, you know, I'm enjoying the game very much indeed at the present stage, and uh, as long as I can do, I want to go on playing. John's hopeful of getting through. In a word, do you see Fulham at Wembley this year? I sincerely hope so, Brian. Yeah, I would love it to happen, and uh, it would be great for all of us. John Mitchell, Bobby Moore, thank you very much indeed for coming here today. Thank you.